morning, it's Elaine with Elaine's Custom Cards, and this is the card we're going to be doing today. Again, I'm using my Forever Gold laser cut paper, and of course you get three um, of each of these different designs, and this is the one we're using on this card, and I'll show you how I did this. So we're going to, this is the red, real red version. I used... For this one, I use the um, Stitch So Sweetly dies, the largest one, to die cut this with um, real red. And then I just cut a square, white square on this one and then rounded the corners with this corner rounder. And I rounded the corners on the DSP. And the paper we're using is called Heartwarming... Um, heartwarming hugs designer series paper and I just used one that had the diagonal on it this it's like this on one side and then this is the other side that was good uh, okay and then the paper I mean the flowers are I used the poinsettia petals um I used this Merry Christmas for the sentiment on the front and then for the sentiment on the inside I used the For Unto Us May Your Heart Be Lifted in Praise This Christmas for the Wonderful Gift of Jesus and the Joy He Brings to Our Lives and then for this I used the Curvy Christmas I used this um, I think you can see. I use this image and um, this came from oh, came from poinsettia petals. I used this and then these for that. And that's something I did on the envelope as well. And for the colors of that, I use pear pizzazz for the stems and then the real red. For the berries and then this stamping is done with mossy meadow on this card so for this version I'm using um, this is real red eight and a half by five and a half scored at four and a quarter this is mossy meadow so let's set this aside and work on this and for this one I decided not to round the corners just to be different so we're just going to glue that to the front of our card you can certainly round the corners if you want I just didn't do it on this one so let's go ahead and adhere that I made three different color versions of this card because the colors in this are mossy meadow real red and pear pizzazz so this is the mossy meadow version so glue that on there okay now let's take this we can go ahead and glue this to the inside I've already stamped it so the inside is just this is um five and a quarter by four and don't worry about the sizes I'll put them on my blog and then you can pick whatever colors you want for cardstock. You don't have to use the colors I used or the paper I used. You can use any paper with this. I think anything will look good. You just want to make sure it coordinates with your flower somewhat. So go ahead and glue that to the inside. This is uh, 4 and 7 eighths by 3 and 5 eighths. I stamped this one with real red. I think I stamped off on this, the mossy meadow, so it wouldn't be too dark, otherwise it'd look that dark, and I didn't want it to. And then I stamped this one with um, real red, and this piece is whisper white, and it's three quarters of an inch by three and five eighths. You can make it shorter if you want. <laughs> This is the Mossy Meadow. 
Um, and like I said, I use this, and it's the largest one. So you need a piece of cardstock that is at least four and a quarter by three and one eighth. And then this is, I decided to use an oval instead of the square or the rectangle on this one. And I used the stitched shapes, the largest of the ovals. So we're going to just glue that to this. I decided I wanted something different, not all the cards to look exactly the same, but then I decided this oval looked good. So we're going to glue that. Then I took this shape here and I cut it in half and then I just started trimming it because I did not want any of this to show on my flower, under my flower. So I, I trimmed it away so it wouldn't show. And then I just glued it on here. You can kind of just say, oh, well, I want it like this. Lay your flower on there to make sure that you've got this close enough that it's not going to show any of it. And then you can put your flower on there. So that's how I did this to make it so that gold part didn't show because I didn't want it to show. And you can put it at an angle. Um, I'm On this one, I'm not going to angle it. I'm just going to try and center it kind of on there but it doesn't really matter you're going to cover that up with your flower I was trying to think of ways to use this laser cut paper on my projects and this one turned out I like it the way it turned out so so that goes on there and then we're going to take our flower let me show you how I put that flower together because I've got another one here. I die cut out of the um, velvet, I think it's velvet red paper. Uh, it's in the annual or in the holiday catalog, but it's red velvet. And then I, and I die cut it with the dies, these dies. And I did this one, this one, and this one. And I, there's an outside die, and then the, this is for the embossing. And I don't know if you can see that on the camera, but the leaves are embossed, or the petals are embossed. And I cut um, three, one of each size, put a glue dot in the center, and then for these little flowers, I cut the small one, which is right here, and you can cut two because I needed two in the red velvet, and then I cut two in the mossy metal for the leaves. So let's put this, finish putting this together, and then I layered these. I'll show you how I layered them. I just kind of like this, layer them. Okay, and then I took, oh, let's see, I took this, and I just kind of curled the edges of these petals. So it gives them some dimension. They kind of flatten out a little bit probably when you mail them. But they look good before you put them in the envelope. You just do that with your leaf, your petals. And then you're going to take one of these beaded pearls. And they don't have sticky on the back, so you're going to want to put a glue dot on there. So I took a glue dot. And I put it right in the center of this. Okay. And then I put my little embellishment right on top for the center of the flower. Just like that. OK. 
okay? Then you're going to take this and you're going to put one of those glue dots. I like these because they're big. Actually, I think I'm going to use glue. I think I used glue when I did this. So you're just going to put glue in the center. Because I think the glue tended to work just a little bit better. Like this. And then I centered it on here, kind of, like so. Okay. And then I did these the same, kind of same way. I took my green mossy meadow. The red on top, just like that, and then you can probably just curl these with your fingers because they're pretty small. They just need to be curled up just a little on the ends. Like so. Okay, <clears throat> and then I put a mini glue dot. On the back, here they are. Because I wanted these to be um, popped up. So we're going to do two of those. And I have those ready. Okay. Now let's finish putting this together. Oh, and then I used a pearl in the center of these. And these pearls are the uh, just the peel and stick pearls and I used there's three different sizes and I used the the uh, I used the large one in that on that so now let's finish putting this together so we're going to pop this up with a glue dot or glue dots stamp and dimensionals and I know they're here right here they are now I want to make sure you use enough because that flower, <clears throat> excuse me, I got a frog in my throat. That flower's pretty heavy. So I used uh, quite a few on here. I just want to make sure I had enough. Put one there. And then one right there. Okay. This card is, I always say this, this card's very simple. There's nothing really fancy folds. It's just using product. Let's make sure I got all on there. Okay. Now there's no upside or upside down. It can go either way on this. And so I had it towards the top and centered. Just like so, okay. And then I took my Merry Christmas and I put stamp of dimensionals on the back of it. <clears throat> this is my label. I put four on it. Depends on how long you make it. And you're just going to center that just like that underneath. And then you're going to take your little poinsettias and put them right up next to the edge of this and making sure you don't cover up your words and that your stamp and dimensional is not on your label it's on your card just like that and that's your card the green version or mossy meadow, real red, and then I have another version that is pear pizzazz. It's the same exact um, design. It's just using um, pear pizzazz. You'll have to tell me which color you like the best. I'll trim that down. See how I 
shows if you don't trim it down. I liked it just showing the gold. And this one I used real red. Oops. You can do it without the white piece if you want, but I liked the white. So I just cut it. I was going to show you how I did that. I cut it in half. And then I kind of did kind of a circle to kind of cut off parts that I didn't want to show. My finger. So a lot of this is going to be underneath anyway. You're not going to see it. So it doesn't really matter. You just want to get those corners cut off. So that when you put your flower on there, in fact I trimmed it more. like that. So you want to trim it enough that you can get it in there to where these corners right here don't show. Like that. And then your your flowers. Putting your flowers on there. And the other one's here somewhere. Hiding. But anyway, that's the basic. We'll find it later. And then this is the inside, and I was going to show you how I stamped the inside of the card. I took this, and you're going to want to put something underneath to, um, because you're using the clear acrylic stamps. And you're going to take your mossy meadow and I would suggest a piece of scratch paper there you're going to stamp off so put your scratch paper and then this is what you want it to look like like that so I put like this my mossy meadow. You know, I re stamped these, but somehow, I don't know. It's never dark enough to suit me. But we're going to stamp off. Stamp right here. On the top. Okay, and then do it again. off and then put it right uh, oh I didn't like this just like that okay so there's that one and then we're going to take this piece and we're going to take our pear pizzazz I stamped this with the red real red and this is going to be full strength of pear pizzazz. We're going to just stamp it right down here in the corner. Just like so. Okay. And then we take our real red. And this will be full strength. Take our little um, berries. And it lines up perfectly on there. They designed it that way. And then you're just going to stamp that right on top of there. Now you can use your Stamparatus with this, but it worked pretty well. Not perfect. In fact, that looks terrible. That does not look good to me. Let's turn it over. Red's not right. <laughs> oh, this is supposed to be green. Let's clean that off. You get the idea of what I'm trying to do here besides mess up the colors. Okay. Let's go ahead and do this one first. Let's see if we can get our colors, color combinations correct. 
there. Ink this up. Stamp off. That doesn't look good. Let's do it again. Okay. Put it right there. Stamp off. Put this one right there. Close our ink. Take the green. Stamp it down here. It's hard to do this unless I'm standing. So I'm going to stand up and stamp this so I can see what I'm doing here. There. That looks way better. And then you'll take whatever sentiment you want to use and stamp here. And then you'll glue it to the inside of your card. And you'll have three different versions. You'll have this one, this red one, and this green one. So that goes in there. And I know I have another flower here somewhere. I'm not sure where it floated off to. Oh, there it is. And you'll put your uh, pearl on the inside of your card, and I use the big ones, on the inside of your flower, just like that. And then you'll put this one together and do the same thing. And then you'll have Real Red, Mossy Meadow, and Pear Pizzazz. And those are your cards for today. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up. And you have a blessed day and a Merry Christmas. Don't forget to subscribe and make a comment. Tell me which color you, combination you like the best. And have a blessed day. Thank you so much for watching. Merry Christmas. Now that I've finished these three cards, I'd like you to tell me which color combination you like the best and leave that in my comments and I would really appreciate your input thank you so much for watching have a really blessed day and a very Merry Christmas remember my host code for the month of December it's going to be the rhinestones that I'm giving away with a $50 purchase up to a $149.99, just use the host code that's in the down arrow and you can go to my blog or my online store. Thank you so much for watching.